Let's talk about the month of December. We just left Turkey Day behind, and now we're headed towards the holidays and Christmas. There is a full moon on the 6th of December. The sun is in Sag, and the moon's in Gemini. And then Mars is in Aquarius. This is a really energetic time. You're going to feel yourself talking and playing and finding yourself outside and wanting to be really creative. And the spiritual, spiritual stuff and all this astrology stuff is really interesting. Then, this is really exciting, December 10th, there are six planets in fire. This happens once every two or three years. Very unusual. If a baby were born at this point with Mars and Aquarius and six planets in fire, it would be super energetic. Really strong spirits are coming in. They're wanting to help us. They're wanting to get us excited. They're wanting to see the big picture and stay positive. And that Mars and Aquarius makes things a little bit jittery. Mars is the male energy. Mars and Aquarius is the freaky Flack, freaky frack rock. <laughs> Mars in Aquarius is strange. How'd I do? Strange. Mars in Aquarius plus all that Sag and all that fire makes us a little bit weird, uninhibited, speaking our own language. It's kind of like Mork and Mindy. Then we have on the 23rd, this is when it changes. So first there's all this fire at the beginning of December and we feel all this activity. Then we drop in by the 22nd and 23rd into Earth. There is going to be five planets in Capricorn right about Christmas. And that's when we have the new moon, the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, and Pluto all in Capricorn. That's a lot, a big clump. So it's going to change the energy from being all this fun, vitality and verbalizing and special energy of feeling like we're zany Zulu to suddenly feeling really grounded. By the end of the new year, when we come into that new year energy and the sun and the moon are in Capricorn, we settle in. And the big change, as you've heard probably on my video, is Saturn leaves Scorpio after two and a half years and it enters a fire sign, Sagittarius, on the 23rd and it lasts all the way to 2017. So we're in some change. The beginning of the month is all energetic. It's got a lot of fun factor. The end of the month settles in. We're grounded and we have the chance, as I keep saying, to make sure Christmas is about real presence, not presence. And to make sure that you really are spiritually awake and not pretending, because Sagittarius can't stand pretending. So the month of December starts off perky, ends up grounded, Saturn makes a shift, Mars enters Aquarius, woo, 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 we get to be weird and say funny things like I just did on my bleeper here. And most of all, you get to really stop and enjoy the winter, put the fire on, have some hot cocoa, make sure you spend time with your family, and make sure most of all you spend time with yourself. Because we get so caught in the outer world, and all this life is about is a chance for us to really do inner discovery. That's why you call an astrologer, hey, for Christmas, give me a way for a present a real present. I'll call them on the phone. I do sessions across the phone. I do Skype sessions. Anything you need, I'm here. My greatest love, my favorite gift to give, is reminding you who you are and having you fall in love with you. What a better time to do it than in the middle of Christmas, December. Hope I get to talk to you.